Well, welcome. We're glad you're back for the first Sunday of Easter Eastertide. Uh, this is the first Sunday after Easter. We're in the first week of Easter Eastertide. And so we're going to spend a little time in Easter. And so let's begin with the Lord's Prayer, and then we'll sing Amazing Grace. So will you join me as we pray together the Lord's Prayer? Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Let's sing Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, our sweet mercy, that saved a wretch like me. greatest of God's gift to us, the greatest gift of his amazing grace. Without Easter, we would not be singing at all. So let's sing the first verse of Amazing Grace again, and then we'll sing that great verse when we've been there 10,000 years. Let's sing that again. clearly the rest of the story. Death is not the end. Violence is not victorious. Death and darkness are overcome for all time and for all people. The Lord is risen. Death loses its sting and God's light permanently overcomes the darkness of evil. Now we join the mighty chorus and proclaim Christ, crucified, dead, buried and risen from the dead. We realize now as never before the extravagant mercy and love of God for us and for all creation. The season of Easter, also known as Eastertide, is set within the 50 days following the resurrection and includes the Lord's ascension and it leads us to Pentecost Day and the season of Pentecost as we remember the coming of the Holy Spirit. So this first week of Eastertide, let's celebrate again the resurrection by hearing the Easter story and singing the great Easter hymns. It is too early to let go of the story and the hymns. Let's hear the scripture. Now at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb, bringing the spices they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away. And then they went in, and they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. They saw a young man clothed in a long white robe sitting on the right side, and they were afraid. But he said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. He is risen. He is not here. He is risen. Alleluia. Let's sing the third verse, which says, Death cannot keep his prey. Jesus, my Savior, he tore the bars away. Jesus, my Lord. And then the great glorious chorus. 
Up from the grave he arose. Let's sing that together. In verse 3. arose. Luke chapter 24 verse 8 says, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. For me, probably the greatest Easter hymn is Christ the Lord is risen today. Cannot imagine Easter Sunday without singing that song. So let's sing the first verse of Christ the Lord is risen today. Christ the Lord is risen today. to what we grew up singing, Sons of Men and Angels Say, I think. Uh, the newer hymnals say, Earth and Heaven in Chorus Say. So you may sing either one that you recall. I noticed that as we started singing that, oh my goodness, that's what I grew up singing. Um, but the newer hymnals say, Earth and Heaven in Chorus Say. From the preaching of Peter on the day of Pentecost, Jesus the Nazarene was a man whose credentials God proved to you through miracles, wonders, and signs which God performed through him among you. You yourselves know this. In accordance with God's established plan and foreknowledge, he was betrayed. You, with the help of wicked men, had Jesus killed by nailing him to a cross. But God, don't you love that in the scripture where it says, but God, but God raised him up. God freed him from death's dreadful grip since it was impossible for death to hang on to him. Let's sing that great chorus one more time. Christ the Lord is Why do you see? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I lost my place again. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 55 through 57. Death has been swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, grave, where is your victory? Thanks God, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And in the 19th chapter of Revelation, we read these words. I heard something that sounded like a huge crowd, like rushing water and powerful thunder. And they said, Hallelujah, the Lord our God, the Almighty, exercised his royal power. Let us rejoice and celebrate and give him the glory. Let's join in singing together, Thine is the glory.
And then in the fifth chapter of the Revelation, we read, Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands, and 10,000 times 10,000. In a loud voice they sang, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Listen to these words from the second and third verses of Thine is the Glory. Lo, Jesus meets us, risen from the tomb. Lovingly he greets us, scatters fear and gloom. Let his church with gladness hymns of triumph sing. For her Lord now liveth, death has lost its sting. And we just read those words a few moments ago. No more we doubt thee, glorious Prince of life. Life is not without thee. Aid us in our strife. Make us more than conquerors through thy deathless love. Bring us safe through Jordan to our home above. Let's sing that first verse again together. Rejoice in the risen Christ, our Savior, our friend, but also our King. And so we are going to, as the prophet Zechariah says, rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your King is coming to you. Let's rejoice and sing. Rejoice, the Lord is King. Rejoice, Lord. Chapter 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And I will say it again, rejoice. Now listen to these words from the second, third, and fourth verses of Rejoice, the Lord is King. Jesus the Savior reigns, the God of truth and love. When he has purged our stains, he took our, when he had purged our stain, I'll get it out in a moment. When he had purged our stains, he took his seat above. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice, again I say, rejoice. His kingdom cannot fail. He rules over earth and heaven. The keys of death and hell are to our Jesus given. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice, again I say, rejoice. Rejoice in glorious hope. Our Lord and Judge shall come and take his servants up to their eternal home. Lift up your heart. Lift up your voice. Rejoice. Again, I say, rejoice. Let's sing that first verse one more time. Rejoice, the Lord is king. Well, 
Jesus is our King and he shall reign. There's a great and glorious hymn that says, Jesus shall reign. Psalm 50 verse one says, the mighty one, God the Lord speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. Let's sing the first verse. Jesus shall reign wherever the sun its successive journeys run. Let's sing that together. Jesus shall reign. Jesus shall reign. From the pen of the Apostle Paul we read, He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore God honored him and gave him a name above all names, that at the name of Jesus everyone in heaven, on earth and under the earth, might bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever. Let's sing that verse one more time. Rejo uh, Jesus shall reign. Jesus shall reign. forever. His name shall continue as long as the sun, and all people shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. And the Apostle Paul, as we just said a moment ago, said that God highly honored him and gave him a name above all names, so that at the name of Jesus, everyone on heaven and on earth and under the earth might bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Let's sing all hail the power of Jesus' name. of that hymn says, let every kindred, every tribe on this terrestrial ball go spread your trophies at his feet and crown him Lord of all. And Paul wrote again that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Let every kindred, every tribe Let's sing that verse one more time. All hail the power of Jesus' name. All hail the power of Jesus' name. the 19th chapter, we read these words, and on his head were many crowns. There is a hymn that we do not sing 
much. In fact, I don't think I've ever sung it, but I came across the hymn and read these words in the first and fourth verses. Look, you saints, the sight is glorious. See the man of sorrows now from the fight returned victorious. Every knee to him shall bow. Crown him, crown him, crowns become the victor's brow. Hark those bursts of acclamation. Hark those loud triumphant chords. Jesus takes the highest station. Oh, what joy the sight affords. Crown him, crown him, King of kings and Lord of lords. Let's sing the great hymn, Crown Him with Many Crowns. Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. Hark how a heavenly anthem drowns, all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing. Although most hymnals only have four verses to that hymn, there are actually 12 verses. Six of them were written by Matthew Bridges and six were added by Godfrey Thring. These are the beginning words of each of those verses. Crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon his throne. Crown him the virgin's son, the God incarnate born. Crown him the Lord of love. Behold his hands and side. Crown him the Lord of peace, whose power a scepter sways. Crown him the Lord of years, the potentate. We don't use that word much anymore. <laughs> the sovereign, the ruler of time. Crown him the Lord of heaven, one with the Father known. Crown him with crowns of gold. Crown him the Son of God before the worlds began. Crown him the Lord of light. Crown him the Lord of life who triumphed over the grave. Crown him the Lord of lords who over all does reign. Crown him the Lord of heaven enthroned in worlds above. Let's sing that one more time. Crown him with many crowns. Crown him with many crowns, a lamb upon his throne. Hark how a heavenly anthem drums, all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing. Today we have a special treat. Before we sing our last hymn, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, I've asked Bill to sing a song that I grew up with, and it's called One Day. I think it has about five verses, and I think, Bill, you're only going to sing one. Is that yes, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. But it's a wonderful hymn because it talks about Jesus' birth and his life. It just takes you through the life of Jesus, saying one day, one day, and here's the last verse that Bill's going to share with us today. One day the trumpet will sound o'er his coming. One day the skies with his glory will shine. Wonderful day my beloved one springing. Glorious say Jesus is
I could keep to not keep from singing. It was all I could do to keep from singing on that song. It tells us the whole story, and one day he is coming again. And so we can join the great, great crowd of heaven as we read in Revelation chapter 5. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing to the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. Let's join that great choir and sing Alleluia. Sing sorry, to Jesus. Music. <laughs> You've lost your music? Lost well, music. I will share with you. <laughs> and I may have to come around there. I'm not sure that I know all of the words by heart. We'll see what so, happens here. I'm okay. Let me come stand with Bill. That will be fun. All right. Let's sing that great song. Alleluia. Sing to Jesus. Alleluia. Sing to Jesus. It's beautiful, and I wanted to make sure I got all the words correct. Yeah, this sure. first verse reminds us of the scene in Revelation. Bill, I need the words again. Oh, here it is, right here. No, here it is, right here. Okay, Alleluia, sing to, to Jesus. The first verse reminds us of the scene in Revelation where the Lord is portrayed as king with scepter and throne. The second verse recalls Christ's ascension and his comforting words in the upper room when he said, I will not abandon you as orphans. And the second verse says, Alleluia. Not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia. He is near us. Faith believes nor questions how. Though the cloud from sight received him, when the 40 days were over, shall our hearts forget his promise? I am with you evermore. The last stanza speaks of the ascended Christ in heaven as the great high priest interceding for us, his children. In this song, he is also called the bread of heaven, our intercessor, our friend, and Lord omnipotent, our redeemer and king eternal. Alleluia, sing to Jesus. Let's sing that one more time. Alleluia, sing to Jesus. Alleluia, sing. sing to Jesus. Now it's time for us to join, as is our custom, in reading or reciting together the 23rd Psalm. Will you join me now? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. 
Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Will you receive this word of benediction, and then we will sing, God be with you till we meet again. Grace and peace to you from the one who is and was and is coming. From Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from among the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to the one who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood, who made us a kingdom, priest to his God and Father, to him be the glory and power forever and always. Amen. Let's sing God Be With You. with you.